Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very small, quick guide to how to install or change the colors slash names on the fantasy kits um, using Cheat Engine. Um, not all fantasy kit makers include the RGB files, but quite a few do. So as we're just going to quickly show off first. So you, I'm doing it inside career mode. So if you look there, I've got the yellow on the black. That should be green. And this one should have a black outline on. So what we're going to simply do is open up Live Editor. And then we're going to go find the RGB values. So we're doing the home kit first. So on this one, it's just the shorts. Uh, the kit makers very generously circled what needs changing. So back here, okay, let's minimize this. Then we go down to team kits table. And then shorts. So it's reading negative there, which means it hasn't found it. So all we do is we switch, switch back, and there's the values. So I need them to read the same as that. So double click on seven, eight, 36, 36. So you notice this white around the edge. Now if I click off and then back again it's now black it's a bit harder to see but it has changed so now we've done that one let's do the away kit see he's marked down all the ones to change so again move over to the away kit and the numbers will have changed again so two five five two two six thirty three now you see how easy I'm doing this this is you, you can't get any easier It's a great little thing. Yes, it's annoying to have to keep doing it for each career mode that you uh, do. Um, but it's been better to have the correct colors and numbers. Otherwise, it can just look really weird and off-putting. nearly done the away kit this is how simple it is boom that's it done switch off to it which we won't see in uh, something change on it straight away because we can't see the back of the kit so there we go for the third one we know that that will change uh, let's get the third one up go all the way back up to um, number one. There we go. Don't know why I wasn't doing it to begin with. And then once this is done, all we're going to do is save it, and then we create a backup save. So that way, we've done all the changes that we wanted to do. So 
so you can save it to your squad file. Oh, and I've just messed up there, haven't I? Don't be me, it should have been twelves all the way along. I was looking at the one below. So if you save it to the squad file, you can actually use it in kickoff and all the numbers will be correct. For some reason, I haven't managed to get it to work for career mode. It keeps on asking to do it each time, which, like I said, you'll see by the length of this video, it does not take long to do. Nice, simple, or stop me getting annoyed at it. So if you see there, at the moment, it's the yellow, which it should be green. So we click back off, back on, it's now gone green. So that is all the kits done. Let's go and save that. So realistic arsenal. And then, because I'm doing testing the hard mode version for Paul, let's create one and call it hard gameplay test. That way it's all done, all saved. And there we go. That's as simple as it is. So as long as the kit maker has given you the RGB files, you can change it. Hope that helps.